Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to multiply negative fractions. And really, multiplying negative fractions is the same process as multiplying two positive fractions. We multiply straight across. The only difference, we need to make sure we have the correct sign for our product. The rules for multiplying positive and negative integers apply to fractions as well. So multiplying different signs will equal a negative result, meaning positive times a negative or a negative times a positive will give us a negative result. Now on the other hand, multiplying the same signs will give us a positive result, meaning positive times positive or negative times negative will give us a positive result. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we have one fourth times negative three fifths. Again, multiply straight across. So let's multiply our numerators, the top numbers first. So one times negative three gives us negative three. And then for our denominators, four times five equals 20. The only common factor between our numerator and denominator is one, so we are in simplest form. Our answer is negative 3 twentieths. Now before moving to number two, I do wanna mention there are different ways to write out negative fractions. So for example, let me rewrite this problem as one fourth times negative 3 fifths. So the negative sign may be out in front. And we get the same thing here because one times three is three and four times five is 20. Now we have a positive times a negative fraction. So different signs, that gives us a negative result, negative three twentieths. You can also express this as one fourth times negative three fifths and the negative is with the denominator. This gives us one times three is three, four times negative five is negative 20, so negative three twentieths there as well. All three of those problems mean the same thing. The negative sign can be with the numerator, it can be out in front, or it can be with the denominator. The one thing it cannot be is with both the numerator and denominator. So for example, negative three fifths, let's put it with both. This would actually equal a positive because fractions represent division. This would be negative three divided by negative five and give us a positive result. So this would be equal to positive three fifths. So we don't wanna put the negative sign with both the numerator and denominator. So something to keep in mind there as far as how we write out negative fractions. Let's move on to number two where we have negative seven ninths times negative two sixths. So multiply straight across. Negative seven times negative two gives us a positive 14. And then nine times six is 54. Now we can simplify this fraction. We have a common factor other than one. We have a common factor of two, so we can divide both of these by two, and that's going to give us 14 divided by two is seven, 54 divided by two is 27. Now that's in simplest form. The only common factor between seven and 27 is one, so we are done. Now I'm going to write this out a different way here so you can see another way that negative fractions can be written. So I'll write the negative sign out in front. So same process, we can do seven times two is 14, and then nine times six is 54. And we notice that we have a negative times a negative, so we have a positive result, a positive 14 54ths, which we said simplified to 7 27ths. So we get the same answer either way. So again, keep in mind that negative fractions can be written out a little differently, but they all mean the same thing there, as long as the negative is not in both the numerator and denominator. 
So there you have it. There's how you multiply negative fractions. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.